Hello, I'm Kevin Potter, and I was the camera operator on Time to Go. We start the film with a, a wide shot, a, just of our main character. It's a panning shot of Molly. This next shot uh, was quite difficult as it was a fast panning shot of a bus as she missed it. Most of these shots uh, from the beginning of the sequence were, uh, were shot as wide shots just to add to a sense of isolation and solitude for our main character. This section takes us into uh, one of our graveyards in our story. I like that shot, I like the composition of it. Uh, what I've done with uh, a few of these following shots is, uh, is using the effect of uh, putting the camera very far away from where she actually is. That way when, when we actually like, zoom in, zoom in on Molly, uh, the background's actually out of focus. This forces the camera to have a narrow depth of field and makes the photography a bit more professional. This is just another example I mentioned earlier. For this section, uh, while she's uh, reading a poem, uh, I just kept the, the shot lingering on her for quite a while. This allows the audience to uh, not elude in the final climatic sequence. This is just a 360 rotational shot. This just was me walking around Molly in circles over and over again. It was just, it was just a way of uh, trying to shoot this recollection of a past. This is the final sequence now you've seen. Uh, it shows the chase and, and eventually a murder. In this scene, I, I actually played the killer who's chasing Molly, so I had to uh, give specific uh, instructions to uh, the editor, Daniel, on how exactly I wanted the camera work to be. I got the idea for that last sequence uh, from the film Forrest Gump as uh, to use the same effect for the feather. I, this, the case was uh, we attached the newspaper to a fishing line and just shot it in reverse. I'm quite happy with how, how that last shot came out because we weren't very uh, sure on how to get such precision timing on uh, the newspaper shot. So we basically just shot it in reverse. Uh, thanks for watching our film and I hope you enjoyed it.